Let's discuss the structure of portrait for a bit. It is very important and crucial to determine the four main directions of the head sphere before drawing it. And while you are doing this, you've got to eliminate the hair and think about the skull itself. Here, as you can see, I'll simplify the shape of the head for you. Okay, it's a curve. This is the angle. Yes, it's another curve here. We got three curved lines. These are the angles. And it equals to a cube. Just like that. These angles. I mean the angle in the cube and in the sphere all should be the same. Like parallel or convergent. This cube actually represents this uh, sphere. Yes, these four signs represent the one that I've mentioned before. This is the jawbone. These are the angles. Should be the same and parallel. And I have line the form of nose chin the neck okay okay let's get back to our drawing yeah here it is again those four directions this is the side plane it is so important to put this side plane at its right place Okay, it is the face line. Yes, let's take care about this very quick tutorial about the structure of face line. Okay, these two points are so important. Just be careful to connect these two points, I mean between the eyebrows and exactly the middle of the chin. Uh, it depends of your viewing angle, of course. It is so important to connect these two points with a straight line together and uh, continue that straight line like a curved line while you are proceeding to draw the forehead part. Uh, while you're doing this, this line goes like a curve. But at the previous section, like between those two points, it is like straight lines. Please pay attention to the points that I mentioned about drawing the eye. It is so important. It's another tip. The triangular form of the eye. And pay attention also to these four lines. Here I'm making my drawing looks like more realistic by paying attention to the real form and trying to extract that real form out of those structural forms.
Yes, you're not going to make a mistake while you're drawing your portrait. These two distances are so important. And be careful if you make mistake about those two distances, your drawing is going to be a ruined and totally different character. Here I can add another point and as you can see I'm trying to draw the hair part. Before, before delving into the detail about the hair, it is so important to define the outlines of the hair strands. Okay, if you're new to my channel, you can check out my previous video. I had some very brief tutorial for drawing the ears where I explained how you can divide the ear into four parts and making it more simple for yourself. Yes, here we are going to start the shading phase, but uh, before starting the shading and lighting process, I do recommend you to determine the outline of the darker part. Uh, these lines are called terminator. The terminator lines are positioned between the phase transition from shadow to light. Yes, in other words, as the first step in shading, shade all surfaces with a degree of 50% or higher in a flat and two-dimensional manner. Well, I'm using cross-hatching technique, but you do not have to do that. You can just move your pencil on the paper and just make some spots and dark part, dark area. Well, step by step, you can add more detail. Move your pencil to the right direction of the hair's texture.
well here we are if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and check out my previous video